What's up y'all and welcome to my YouTube and today I'll be filming and styling this wig. So y'all I got this wig from AliExpress. It is 34 inches. The density, um, they didn't let you pick a density but I looked at the reviews and they had, you know, it's very much thick. It's minimal shedding, not a lot of shedding so really good. I mean curly hair is going to shed anyway but you know i like it um just make sure you know curly hair when it gets dry it gets super big so get you some loose so I'll lay down the only thing that i will say i don't like is that they used a short frontal on a 34 inch wig you should have at least you know 24 inch or something to go with this because it's kind of short in the front but it's still cute but yeah, if y'all want to see me install this wig, um, stay tuned. Alright, so you guys, I'm going to be plucking the wig. Um, I already put mousse on the back, so it'll be laid a little bit flat. And I tied the baby hairs up and stuff. Not really baby hairs, but just the front of the hairline up, so it won't be in my way. Y'all, this is a little bootleg because I don't have a stand, so I'm trying my best to pluck this, you know, so y'all can see. But yeah. We're just gonna start. Let's start right here. And I just went and bought this at the hair store because I lost my other one. But yeah, we just. The, I think the trick is don't pluck in the same spot. Um, trying my best to pluck this so y'all can see. See, I'm just not plugging in the same spot. I'm continuing to move all across. Actually gonna keep that calm. I'll keep it actually flatter than it is. Cause I did not feel like you know hot comb. So you see I'm moving across, plucking, you know, not staying in the same spot. Because if you stay in the same spot nine times out of ten, you're going to end up getting, you know, a patch of hair, like, missing from that one spot. And you don't want that. So make sure you continue to move around. Did a before and after, but I mean, I guess y'all can see it in the first few clips before I did start plucking. But I feel like I plucked a little bit in, in the front, not too much though, because you want to pluck too much. I'm now a Sheen ambassador, so the link in the description you can get two dollars off your order. Um, if you buy something with my link, so make sure that you go and support and 
you go use the link in the description so you can get a discount off your next order um this outfit is from Shein. the skirt is also and the headband so you know what it is but um yeah make sure y'all support and go press the link in the um description so you can get a discount off your next order So y'all, I just became an ambassador for West Kiss Hair. So it will be a link in the description where you can get some money off whenever you buy a wig or some bundles or um, a headband wig. So um, make sure y'all go support and use my link in my description. So I plugged the wig, but I, I'm the type of person, I'm a visual person. I like watching other people do it while I do it. I'll be like, oh, she doing this, let me do this. But last time, actually, that didn't go that well. Because I tried to do what I see people doing with the razor. I think it, like, I don't like the razor part. So I almost, almost, well, first off, I cut myself. So I don't really like that. I like using my scissors. Like, I use some surgical scissors, and they kind of curved. And I'm just used to using that. And I like, I like it because I really don't hurt myself when I do it. So... My mom is a nurse, so she be having all these different types of scissors in there. So she ain't use them, but anyway, y'all know what I mean. But let me go ahead. This week is so cute, y'all. Let me stop playing. Because y'all, you know, if you know if I get done with these wigs, y'all fix take some pictures. Mm-hmm. Yup. All right, this is my wig installer bag. I've stopped using Gots to be glue only for ages because my wigs don't need to stay like that. Anyway, but I use this most of the time for like if I want to lay the edges or some, or I got some curls that I need to be sprayed because they really get your curls stained. And now it's the winter time, baby. Yep, I got this one hairstyle wax to keep your hair laid down and then bow hold. But yeah, these are the surgical scissors that I use. But yeah, what am I doing? I did not put the makeup in the lay. Here I am. I'm just gonna pat that in there just like that. You see what I'm doing? Don't mind my makeup. I know it look a little crazy. I'm gonna fix it though. Because 
I had it like this, I went to sleep. So my makeup did not look like this earlier, but it looked crazy right now because I went to sleep and it's a little ugly. But I'm just patting it in there. Just patting it in there. This basically tints your lace, baby. So it look like your skin color and it don't look gray. Like, I'm having me slay and lay tomorrow, y'all, for work to impress no one. <laughs> you know what? I do this. We do this for ourselves, so, right? We all do this for ourselves because they can, like, we love long, your long, natural hair. These folks be thinking this my hair for real a lot. Like, they really be thinking this my hair. Every wig I have on, they think it's my hair. I be like, this is not my hair. But okay. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna be like, thank you. Yeah. This not my hair. But yeah. Be like, you got some long hair, just like my daughter. This not my hair. But okay. I'll take it. So I will be using Boho glue. You can get it from your local beauty supply store or you can order it on Amazon. Um, it just dries very quicker than um gossipy glue. I was using gossipy glue for a very long time, but it just doesn't last very long. And I was just tired of having to redo my lace like almost every three days. So it works very good, you know, if you want to keep your lace on at least for maybe a week or probably about a week and some days before you have to, you know, redo it. But yeah, and it dries. Once it dries, it turns like um, clear. So that's when you know you can just, you know, apply it on there. So now I'll be cutting the wig um, lace into three sections. It's easier to cut it this way instead of just cutting all across. And it gets rid of that excess lace that you do not need. So you see I started from the middle. So now I'm getting to the sides and I'm just cutting off that extra lace on the side, cutting around the ear as well. So now I'm going to be cutting the lace. Um, I prefer doing zigzag because it gives more of a natural hairline, you know, than you doing it straight across. It looks, it, you can really tell with the um, lace if you do it that way. And I feel it's just better to do it that way. ambassador for a company called Jerly She. They sell clothing and also wigs and bundles. So make sure y'all use the link in the description. So whenever you do buy something off the website, you'll be able to get some money off. And um, make sure y'all just support. Um, I'll show y'all the screen record right here of all what they sell and their wigs they sell. So yeah, it has some nice variety of different clothing and wigs you can um, wear. So make sure y'all support. So with this, I was using this so that my lace, like it would get rid of the line of showing that lace because I seen a YouTuber use it and it worked perfectly, you know, fine for her. But, you know, as you can see, my lace just came up and I don't know if it has something to do with maybe something. It has alcohol and gossipy glue. I don't know. But, you know, obviously you see my lace just came up and I'm mad because now I got to re-glue. So I'm actually using the gossip glue again, still trying to use that technique that she used. It didn't come up this time, I believe, because I didn't spray it as close as I did at, in the beginning. So I guess, you know, don't spray too much. Just spray just enough. So at this point, I'm starting to get a headache. Um, I've actually have a, I had a headache the whole day, really. 
but you know the ring light wasn't helping it either so i went off on camera and just parted it myself and went ahead and did it um but yeah as you can see i did do the edges i also do not mind that lace that's a piece of the lace in my hair by the way but i am now applying a little bit of the foundation that i use in the inside of the lace to put on the outside to you know just blend it in with my skin you know a little bit more so now i'm just wetting the hair um i use some mousse as well as um some curly hair cream that i bought from the hair store So yeah, this is the finished product. Um, you guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos of mine. And also, you know, stay tuned for new videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!